بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so now here I'm going to cover up a quick uh, setup of the ASA image. Like we got two different versions of the ASA image, which can be run. You can either run the ASA V image, which is going to support your 9.x versions. I think which is something we already covered. And this is something you can also simulate on the on the GNS3 or EVNG. And there is one more option called ASA with 8.4, the older images. Now one of the thing. is whenever you are doing some asa lab especially with ether channel or the security context or failover or any other labs so probably this specific configuration labs are not supported on the asa v image so probably at that point of time you need to go back to the older image in order to simulate the labs with 8.4 version now this is something you can simulate either on the evng or even in the new uh, gns you can also set up that even though gns3 uh, recommend not to use this image uh, that may not work properly but basically you can also do that so here how we do that in the gns3 i'm going to cover up here with a quick setup i do have my gns3 already running here with my device as well as my gns3 vm is also running in the back end so we already started the gns3 vm here which is already running here so make sure that this is running and we need to go back and select the kemo kemo vm this is the option we need to select uh, in that we need to upload the two images so require two different images here so first let me quickly uh, do this option here so we need to make sure that we are running this on the vm and at the back end we are also have this gns3 vm running and click on next now you can give some any name here like i'm going to say uh, asa image asa 84 8.4 version which is a legacy asa vm and this is what the gns3 recommendations will pop up so i'm going to use this uh, use the setup the ram and click on next and here we need to select the image now there are two image files you require so if you go back to the gns3 drive where Uh, i have uploaded the images here gns3 8.4 for the gns3 vm you need to have these two files downloaded i already have this downloaded here so i'm going to select from existing images now you can see if i select a new image i can browse and upload the same so i already have this images here so i need to select these images from my desktop so i've already copied these two images uh, the, the first image will be your asa image so i need to select the image first so the existing image or the new image i'm going to select this uh, hda image or or you can also create an option here so there is an option to create this where you can uh, create one image as well so but in my case i'm going to upload the image here which is the hd image which is already a pre configured image that's something i recommend you to use that one uh, probably i'll also upload the same image here you can you can download from the from the same folder so in my case i'm going to use the existing image the hda uh, dot qw file so i'm not going to use this option to create i'll i'll skip this option here so once you upload this image the browse this image and the next option here we need to select the ram disk and these two files now these two files are the same files what you will find here so we need to select these two files now now you need to add the image now this is basically the disk image you need to add you can either upload this image by using the new option or you can use the existing image so here it's already there uh, the same file i have already uploaded to the same google drive you can use this uh, hard disk image which is a pre configured image or you can also create a new option which is something i don't really suggest you can uh, upload this and once you click on next then you have to integrate two more files to this now by the, by seeing these extensions you can figure out these are the two files you need to associate download them and select from here so if it is not there you can just browse and select those options from your uh, local drive from where i have downloaded this 
I need to select the first file here and the second file I have to select it from, from here. So again, it will upload these files and click on finish. And once you click on finish and apply, now I can create a, now, now, now what you'll see is you will see the device here, which means I can go to the new blank project where I can simply drag and drop this device and you can start the device and you can start the console. And if everything is okay, I should see the device has to boot up if everything is properly configured and I should be getting into the CLI. So I'll wait for some time for the CLI to come up and then I'll quickly do some uh, verifications. So let's wait for some more time. So now I can see, I'm able to see that command line. And this is where I can uh, go ahead and create things like you can create mode multiple or even you can create some port channel. These are the specific configuration commands, what you're going to use or failover commands. Uh, these are the specific configurations you require to do in the ASM, which is not supported on the ASAB image. You can, uh, can switch to this older image on the GNS3 as well.